Welcome back to another fantastic episode of The King of Random. I am Jerem and this is Janae joining me today. Hi Al. We're gonna do some reactions to some of Grant's old videos. Now this is a really fun one that I have not seen before. Now Janae has been intimately involved with all these and seen a million times and could potentially give us some different perspectives on some of the behind the scenes, but That's I true. am very excited to launch into this video today. And just play it. Okay. Oh, I remember that. That logo brings All back right. so I many like memories. I like this. We need that back. We should do that. I've gathered I like up that. some common household ingredients and a frying pan. Okay, I I just have to say it. The voice. Every time, every time I hear it, I just want to like look around and be like, "Where is he?" It. I. It's not so, but it gets me every time. Okay. As today we're doing some kitchen chemistry. This is the type of cooking that gets me excited because it's I'm true. trying out recipes. That's the only kind of cooking that got him excited. The only thing he ever made in our marriage for me was one-eyed sailors. That's literally a piece of bread. You crack an egg and cook it. Well, those are great. They are good. I love yeah. those. But this is the kind of this. cooking that got him excited. It's for solid state rocket fuel. Was that pinned down with something or did it just like, just, I want to see some propulsion. I want to see it. I know, right? Yeah. I would have thought that actually had I propulsion. bet if we tapered the end so that it would squeeze out know. through a smaller... Yeah, that I don't makes know. sense. It probably would have propulsion if we did that. To get started, I'm taking this portable electric burner outside and away from anything flammable. <laughs> At least he goes outside. Oh, by the way, that <laughs> burner we bought for a little apartment we built in our basement and it didn't have a stove, but we wanted to rent it out, so that became the stove for an apartment. Heat to medium low. This lid should help it heat faster, and while that's warming up, I'll place one of these plastic cups on a digital scale and turn it on. When the scale has zeroed out the weight of the cup, I'm ready to measure portions of these two ingredients. The black bottle is a stump remover. Oh, just so everyone knows also, I labeled that white sugar with my own handwriting, and I just threw that scale away. It was a sad day. Oh. From the garden section of a local hardware store, and I'm using it because it contains potassium nitrate, and according to the MSDS, it contains a lot of it. The second... That's 100% potassium nitrate. Like you can just go and get that chemical and then your sugar here. This is so simple, I love this. Now we're getting to the meat of the project. <laughs> Ingredient is plain white table sugar and I couldn't resist a little taste before investing it into this experiment. Yeah. Cause I never let him eat sugar. <laughs> okay, this recipe calls for a 60-40 mix by weight and I'm gonna make 100 grams. It's also why it looked so good. <laughs> so I'm adding 60 grams of stump remover first followed by 40 grams of granulated white sugar. That looks good okay. there, so I'll give the cup a little shake and mix the two together, and then try to pour it neatly and evenly into the preheated pan. Over the course of about five minutes, I'll need to stir the mix up a little so it doesn't burn on the bottom. Not much seems to be happening yet, but after about eight minutes, I can see some okay. of the sugar starting to caramelize into a liquid. At this point, I'll need to be stirring and mixing a little more frequently, and as I do, the mixture begins to liquefy and clump together, turning golden brown. Just a couple minutes later, the entire batch looks like cookie dough. Ooh, there we the go. The powder is completely mixed in. And this is what got him excited. Sort of <laughs> in, and I'm thinking these mega block Legos might work. The he stole those from our two-year-old. <laughs> point the mixture is just runny enough for it to be slowly coaxed into the container. It takes about 60 grams to fill this red block, and when I've cooked up a little more, I'll add that to the blue one. It's darker in color because it cooked longer, and generally speaking, I think the less it's cooked, the better. There's just a little bit left over, and it's hot, but if I'm careful... And right at that moment, I had to say, don't taste that, honey. I know it looks good, just don't taste it. I can roll it into a test piece for measuring the burn rate later on. All right, while those are cooling, I've got one we can light off just to see how it looks. I'll get it started with a propane torch. Oh, that was easy. The fuel catches, it throws off catches the right like that. Oh, I love how it's throwing stuff. This mix is four months the old. The plastic is melting. Our two-year-old could not and use that anymore. Plastic, that does get pretty hot. Okay, I just made three more batches of fuel that are all a little what? different. To the yellow one, I added 30 grams of water and then turned the heat up to boil the water out. After a couple of minutes, the mix turned to a white mush and was ready when all the water seemed to have cooked out. This method prevented the sugar from caramelizing, but was a little crumbly when dry. I packed that into this yellow Lego block and set it aside. Another batch was made using a mix of 58% stump remover, 29% sugar, and this time I used 13% corn syrup and... I like how he just like changes the recipe. He's like, why are we, what's gonna happen if we do this now? Like, 
Yeah, I mean, it's always like, what other ingredients can we use? And again, this is where, you know, you push the boundaries. Okay, this worked. How else can this work? And how else can this work? And what, what else could we do? Like, Did he taste this one? No, I wouldn't let him. <laughs> I tasted all the fruits in the ping pong ball video that I was exploding everything. Well, it's fruit, yeah, so that's it was fine. Good. It was good. I, I think sugar mixed with, like, flammables is probably not a good idea. Well, I'm going to do this again, and you're not going to be around. 30 milliliters of water. Can't the water make you do anything. The same way as the last. <laughs> And then about one gram of homemade rust powder was added. And started Especially thoroughly. with the rust powder, when not going to recommend it, eating it. that. But why rust powder? Like, what, what went through his head that he's like, I know what I need? Right. Okay, so actually, now I'm remembering this. First of all, I don't know why the rust powder, but I remember him asking, like, there's these old cars in our neighbor's yard, and this neighbor had, like, all these junk cars. Ugh. And he's like, do you think I could just like shave some of the rust off? So we actually went to their house and rang their doorbell. They were very rude, like not friendly neighbors. So it was like really going out on a limb to even go over there. And I'm like, they're going to think we're the biggest jerks. Ringing their doorbell and saying, hey, do you mind if we just shave off some Rip of the rust car. from your car? Um, so they didn't answer. Um, and I don't remember where we got the rust. But I remember that whole process of trying to find the rust. And I don't know why. Does anybody know why rust? You really don't know why? I don't know why. There was a reason. Okay, maybe he'll <laughs> tell us. Frosting, and I packed that into the green <laughs> I may have He wanted to eat it. Air he inside. did. You'll see this explode later when we test it. Ooh. For my last batch, I air bubbles some red rust equal explosions. It was still wet. More red rust. rust. Yep, red rust. The water yeah. The other one was out. brown. This mix kind of looks yeah. like they're clearly different like colors. Velvet cake. But I would Ugh, recommend I, eating it. It's cake, it's cookie chocolate, dough, it's cake, chocolate. Cookie dough. I mean, he was clearly like channeling his inner cook with this non edible stuff he's cooking. Oh my gosh. I took samples from each fuel and measured them all to a length of one inch. Okay, and these, I was like, those look like little like pieces of poop, you know, like. I mean, they kind of do. Poop. They do. But they're way more fun. Okay. Well, time the burn rates to see how they performed against each other. I was happiest with the batch made with my homemade rust because it burned the fastest. Homemade rust, that's right, he made it at home. Oh. That were to be up, our neighbors so wouldn't give us their rest, so we had to make our own. Here we are with five samples ready for ignition. <laughs> Testing the red one, I'm really impressed at how fast it ignites and burns. But a little nervous when it starts spinning out of control. I'm out of here. The blue one lights off just as powerfully. And we need a hole in that one. Mm -hmm. it takes off. Helps the oxygen, you know, get in there. So okay, it, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. See, I knew that. <laughs> I taught Jerem something about fire. Good job. <laughs> It burned slower than the first two, but the amount of smoke it put off was still incredible. That's cool. Okay, so this green one has the rust in it, and it lit up instantly. And then wow. Blew up. So rust must but be some type of catalyst. Yeah. Wait, wait, do that again with your face. That was like, ooh, <laughs> and I just interrupted it. That was a good one. If we put, if we put um, bismuth in there, I, I bet the flames will be green. Yeah. That'll be really cool. Okay. I was doing that recently. It was lots of fun. That's awesome. I okay. don't know what he's talking about. I know about Pepto-Bismol. It's in Pepto-Bismol. Okay. It is the ingredient We're Pepto-Bismol, the which there. settles your stomach. We can extract it and do other fun things with it. And still, just because it settles your stomach, don't eat this mixture. If it you has potentially don't, want don't eat that. it. Don't eat it. Just don't do that. <laughs> that was awesome. I decided it was a good idea to hold it's it about time. Hold it down. Yes, there we go. <laughs> strategy seemed to work. At least this time I didn't get sprayed in the face with steaming hot rocket fuel. <laughs> Overall, I think I'm happiest with these mixtures using the rust. Oh, and it just with like, the, yeah. the, the, the plastic is melting and down. The it's like the Wicked Witch of yeah. the West. And it's like, I'm melting. <laughs> well, I know what he's talking about with getting sprayed in the face. I was just in the shop yesterday and like had to run out because my eyes were burning and my throat was burning and there was a reaction happening that I did not expect and it was lots of fun. And we'll film that next time. So. We'll live it maybe. <laughs> Homemade casing that actually has a nozzle. I was able to get a successful oh, rocket yeah. launch that I think went a couple thousand feet high. Wow. Well, that's it for this project. If you like these videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. Okay. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. And we do appreciate your support. Oh, that's, your oh, that's my kids. <laughs> I forgot about that. That was my favorite part. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, we're definitely building rockets. Yes. Definitely building rockets. That was so cool. And maybe let's get your kids out and then we'll blast rockets off with them. Okay, they would love that. We'll reprise the video. And we will not eat the sugar mixture. Janae will not eat the sugar mixture. I will not. And I will not let my kids eat it either. <laughs> lest they turn out like their father. Which is inevitable anyway. <laughs> yeah, they're going to do that. <laughs> All right, my friends. Thanks for joining us with this reaction video. Let us know in the comments how we can tweak this. What you want to see us do with these rockets. 
And yeah, until then, let the random happen. Very excited to launch into this video today. All right, let's do it. One take. <laughs> we should put that in somewhere too. When you say that one take, that's amazing because Grant never did it in one take. He always did 30, which is why I didn't sit here with him. I, I prefer one. I don't mind doing however many it takes.